Welcome to, This Bitch, with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. Another episode of this bitch podcast. Bzz, bzz, bzz. We're live from the hive at the Comedy Store Studios. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinshank. What up, Shankies? Oh, just another day in paradise, living my dreams. Living my absolute dreams. Absolute dreams. Yesterday was Sunday. Today it is Monday, and it is a fresh new start, people. It is a fresh new start. Whatever happened last week, it didn't. It's in the past. Now. <laughs> That's what I want you guys to know. It didn't happen. It's in the past. Nothing matters. We had a really good we had a really good saying when we all went to Joshua. I Tree was just together. gonna say the saying. And That's so yeah, weird. And it's and it's just two words. It is two good words. And it's two words you need to keep in mind when you're worried about the future or the past. You need to remember, remember now. now. Thank you, everybody. We all see it like we're in a cold, cold. at the same time. <laughs> it is that, good though, right? No, it's really remember good. now. It's really good. Now, remember last week? Remember? Oh, I just remembered I have to remember now. It's a good tattoo. And you know what else I liked hearing? What? Someone said, be where your feet are. And that really grounds you. Be where your feet are. Be where your feet are. Like, literally, think about where your feet are, and that's the place you're physically in right now. Yeah. Here, right now. At this table, she's my spiritual advisor. Me, she's my shaman. I'm now. your shaman. <laughs> Shankies, close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want you to relax. Okay. You. I can't relax with that. What? You don't. You even... sound insane. Okay. If I was You're a like, okay, if I was a white bitch with dreads doing this in Topanga, you'd be like, Oh my god, I'm being spiritually summoned. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> if you had a septum piercing and a If my sleeve. name was Lavender Clementine and I was doing this to you with a matcha iced she tea in my hand. She healed me. Yeah. She healed me. Uh, not a woman named Clementine healing you. I got healed by Clementine. Clemmy. And all I did was pay $750. $777.77. Seven what a coincidence. Divine the universe alignment. is crazy. <laughs> That's so fucking nuts. I used to hate stuff like that. Everything was like $108. Like everything would equal nine. Oh, really? Yeah. 108 is also a spiritual number. Yeah, so it would be like is 108, it? 90, yeah. or $81. And everything would be like oh, nine. Okay, okay. Oh, weird. Yeah. What did, what did you, have you gotten into numerology? Well, I knew that like, okay, one time I lived with, I lived in apartment 108 and my boyfriend at the time lived in apartment 108. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's a sign. And I had this friend that came over and she was really into numerology. And she was like, 108 is like a divine, like it's a sacred number. If you look it up, it's like a lot of things are on a 108 day cycle. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to look up a couple of numbers after this that mean something to me and see if they, see if they matter. The number 108 is reduced to the single digit nine, which is considered a powerful and aus auspicious number. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Auspicious? Yeah. I don't think I've ever said that word out loud. The repetition of the number nine three times in 108 is believed to enhance its transformative and harmonizing energies. Okay. And then it says it represents... Okay, like go to a comprehensive guide to why the number 108 is so... There's like a million different things. Well, that's good for the pod. <laughs> <laughs> it says 108 saints are celebrated in Japan. In Tibetan legends, there are 108 masters and 108 initiates. In Buddhism, the temple is said to have 108 names and there are 108 lamps devoted to him. Most Buddhist temples usually have 108 steps, 108 columns. Really? Yeah. The division of Christian holiday from Souls Day, which is on November 2nd to Christmas Day on the 25th of December, has 54 days and 54 nights. The significance being in the fact that within those two, day two dates, light transforms into darkness a total of 108 times. Wow. And the reverse also occurs the same number of times. The number 108 is a bridge between our material and spiritual experience. 108. Weaving, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Whoa. So, 108 is deep. 108 is deep. 108's deep. What, what, what number should I look up next? Um, can you do 710 for me? I had an apartment 
710 Genesee in LA yeah that changed my life and then I had two apartments with that number after that really yeah and I thought that was really interesting angel number let's see spiritual growth and development angel number 710 is a blend of the energies and vibrations of the number seven the number one the number zero duh, duh. <laughs> fucking duh. <gasps> oh my. the number seven resonates with spiritual awakening and development inner wisdom understanding and good fortune so meaning meaning of seeing angel number 710 uh you are not alone they're watching over you all right the angels all right, whatever. All right, and then do you guys know what number you are? Because there's, there's like a way to figure out your number, right? No. Oh. Can we guess what our numbers are before we figure it out? Oh, like yeah, 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 sure. Number? What are they? Are they usually like single digit, double digit, yeah, triple digit? They all down to one digit, so it's one through one. nine. Oh, okay. I would say I'm a number... I forgot. I feel like I've done this. I have no idea. All right, all right, give me, I want to say a, a seven, but I don't want to be cocky. I, I know. I know. Why my would number. seven make you cocky? Because <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like everyone's favorite lucky yeah, number. Yeah. You say I want to say seven, but I don't want to be cocky. Yeah. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't even know what they mean. Uh, I don't want to be cocky, but I want to say seven. Okay, I'm going four. Four. Not to be not to be humble, but I'm going four. <laughs> it's ninety-one, right? Ninety. 99. 99, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's 90. It's 90. <laughs> Not I'm giving you an extra year. What's mine? Eight. Eight. Oh. Whoa. Your life path number is one of returning karma and opportunity. Those with life path number eight tend to be natural leaders rather than followers with a good capacity to visualize and an intuitive ability to know what needs to be done in order to accomplish the taxes. That's so me. As such, you are more likely to find yourself being more successful with money and business or politics. Be wary of losing sight of your compassion and being too ambitious and greedy in the pursuit of your goals. That's very me. That's very me. Wow. Shanks, let's see yours. April 19th, 1987. Okay, the seventies. We don't need my, to go. My, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's in sixty. I'm like, wait, I said eighty-seven, motherfucker. Yours is three. That's a good one. Creative self-expression and communication, independence. Those with life path number three tend to be charismatic, charming, and witty. You're more expressive, upbeat, and creative, and such are more likely to be drawn to pursuits that will act as an outlet for your artistic talents. Be wary of losing concentration and not committing to your project, as well as becoming disorganized with your responsibilities and money. Disorganized with your responsibilities and money. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Life path calculator. Not, not on the pod, not life path. The- <laughs> <laughs> Save it for a home. Me in the pussy, why don't you? <laughs> why don't you just tell them how many people I fucked, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's pull out my medical records. Why don't you, life path number calculator? <laughs> Putting all my business out there, life path. <laughs> I'm fine with money. <gasps> Everything's great. I'm responsible. That was fun. That was fun. That was a fun little thing we just did. That was a fun little <laughs> adventure we went on, sister. Have There's you ever some... been hypnotized? No, I don't think that I could. <gasps> we should bring in a hypnotist to see if he could hypnotize either one of us. <sighs> did you, did you hear such... that deep sigh? That's so <laughs> It was fun. just like, oh. yeah. I mean, I wonder if I, we could. I don't, I don't think I can get hypnotized. Do you? I don't know. I've never tried. Helped resolve my issue in three sessions. Three sessions seems like more than I'm willing to commit to. I'm not going under. Heal me in one, bitch. Heal me in one. I'm not going under mental anesthesia three times. Are you fucking <laughs> nuts? Nice? Are you crazy? In a Cosby then world. all of a sudden you wake up in love with your hypnotherapist? No, in a Cosby world, three times is too much. Did you hear about the hypnotherapist that was molesting women? No, but that checks out. That's some, that's some weird, that's a good movie. That is a good movie. The hypnotherapist that's a fucking creep. Yeah. You're getting sleepy. You know what would you know would be good? <laughs> very, very sleepy. The perfect name for the movie? What? Now sleep. No. I thought it was you're gonna say night night. What? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a children's film? <laughs> yeah. Nighty no, night. No, now sleep. <laughs> now sleep. Such a good name. That is a good name. Scary. Something's happening during I don't being like hypnotized. That. And then it's like 
Yeah, with a clock. Very sleepy. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm bored, dude. Of course, I'm getting a little sleepy, weepy. You got a clock, a grandfather clock. How much is a hypnotherapy? Like, go to pricing. Dude, we're in the wrong field, I think. Catch me becoming a hypnotherapist. $250 for 80 minutes. Okay. No, I'm not doing it. Teenagers, we can't be hypnotizing children. <laughs> What are they doing? My teenage daughter's being a bitch. Can I bring her in? This is weird. She's refusing to do her chores and she will not get off of Instagram. I don't think it would work for me. That's such a thing to say. A cocky thing? It is. You think you'd get hypnotized? Um, I think if between the two of us, if one of us was going to get hypnotized, it's we you. know it's going to be Yeah, gonna it's me. the sleepy I'll old baby. <laughs> susceptible to hypnotism I could before see you, you. I could see you showing up to a hypnotism in slippers, just ready, or just excited <laughs> for a nap. In a robe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I could see you getting addicted to being hypnotized, and you're like, I can't make it. I got to get hypnotized at two. And I'm like, you're getting hypnotized too much. And I'm like, why? why? There's like, no you, such thing you as too much hypnotized. can't be under hypnot- that much. <laughs> You can't be under Bill's control this often. It's crazy. It's just some guy. It's just some guy. In You're an sleeping office? for Is hours. It, are you and in then, an office? And then you pay him. Dude, the trust you have to have. The trust. In in hypnotherapy. Sometimes I look at my boyfriend now and I go, he could kill me. I'm not going into a hypnotherapist. <laughs> the love of my life I'm suspicious of. You're suspicious of everyone all the time. Everyone could kill you. Anyone can snap at any, any moment. At any point, like if, if at Kim any point, was high walking down the street. Your brain could just glitch and then you could kill someone. Okay, Kim. That's so dark. Could your brain just glitch and you could just kill someone? Yeah, I think so, right? No, that's I what, don't think that that's Some people that go crazy and they do murders, they're like, I don't know what happened. I was normal and then I blacked out and then I Kim woke up and fine. I was covered yeah. in blood. No. Do people glitch and murder? Do people glitch and murder? I think they do. I think Sarah. they were glitching along the way before the murder. <laughs> maybe I don't think you just have Maybe it's not the murder we had. Maybe it was the glitch along the way. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was always the glitch Drunken along. Drunken blackouts. Oh, alcohol blackouts. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes sense, but something evil happens when you black out on alcohol. Yeah. The spirits take over. The spirits take over. Are you? This is all like video games. Oh. Okay, because you use the word glitch. <laughs> do people rant? Like, have do you tried blowing do, into do the game? Do people snap and murder people? When normal people snap. Oh. Ooh, good title. Good title. As crime and thriller writers, we want to know what separates us from people who snap. We want the answer. And we suspect the answer is not much. Oh, God. Let's see. I do not want to read about normal people who snap. Well, they do. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, because think about it. Have you ever been driving and you get really bad road rage? And you're like, fuck you, cocksucker. And then you're like back on the road. Yeah. It's like that. Dude. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's like that, but with murder. Have you ever just gone, fuck you. It's that, but with knives. Okay, knives. Knives. I think it's that with guns. Whatever weapon you want, sweetheart. <laughs> it's that with a machete. I ain't gonna fight you for your murder weapon. <laughs> Choose your own battle, sister. <gasps> I don't like it. Well, you think you could shoot a gun? No. You got taken on a date once to a gun I've range. I've been taken. I took someone on a date to a gun range. You did? I was like, I'm a cool girlfriend. I'm like Angelina Jolie. I get it. Was like, this recent oh. when we knew each other? Yeah, when we knew each other. I was in my 20s, though. It was oh, before okay. I really knew myself. You oh. see? <laughs> Who was? was Who like, did you take to a gun ring? Uh, my ex from a few exes ago. Oh. I don't even know if you knew this ex. Wow. It was many exes ago. But I, it, can you imagine that we're friends and I don't know who you're dating? No. That's crazy. Crazy. It was... um. Like, I took him to the gun club. I think that's in downtown no. L.A. No. And it was so... It's scary. Uh, yeah, because then you start being like, oh, well, there could be a crazy person in yeah. here. And then my boyfriend at the time kept being like, 
babe, the crazy people don't come here. This is preventing people from being crazy. I'm like, no, this seems crazy, though, yeah. to want to just go there and just, like, shoot a gun, and I have to trust the guy next to me is not going to shoot me. Yeah. I started having a panic attack, um, and then I was like, you can just... And he sat in there and played. Played. Or whatever it is. He shot the gun. <laughs> he shot he sat, the gun. He sat in there and played his he, little game, He okay? played his little game, and I sat in the car. Oh, And fuck. then he came out, and I was, like, shaking. And then I dated... Went on another date with another guy, and as we're on the way to the gun range, I'm like... This was an outdoor one, so I felt a little better, but okay. I was like, the last time I tried to go to a gun range, it didn't really go well. Mm -hmm. He's like, why? I'm like, because I have anxiety with guns. And then we got there, and I was like, he Could paid. you say you were triggered? <laughs> yeah, I was triggered. So then we left. He paid, bah, bah, bah. and then we left, and we went to Benihana instead. That's a good, that's better. With big wireless providers, what you see is never what you get. Somewhere between the store and your first month's bill, the price you thought that you were paying magically skyrockets. With Mint Mobile, you'll never have to worry about gotchas ever again. Never. Yeah. When and Mint, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Life, it comes with gotchas. Lots of gotchas. It rarely doesn't have a gotcha. That's why the Mint Mobile is really nice. When Mint Mobile says $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, they mean it. I love it. Um, yeah, I've had really bad experiences with AT&T. There's all these weird hidden fees. So it's time to say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all of your existing contacts. Get three months of premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month. You can't beat that price, people. Listen. Just 15. To, just 15 dollars. That's nothing. Yeah. To get this new customer offer and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash this B. That's mintmobile.com slash this B. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash this B. It's $45 upfront payment required equivalent to $15 a month new customers on first three month plan only speed speed slower than 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans additional taxes fees and restrictions apply see mint mobile for details let's get back into it yeah let's one time i went on a date to katsuya yeah the sushi place yeah in hollywood yeah and i was high as fuck and on some mushrooms and i went to the bathroom and i went and i went to wash my hands in the mirror a thing popped up in the mirror what do you, do you mean? know that happened what do you mean a geisha was in the mirror, in the distance in the mirror at Katsuya. What do you mean? A geisha. I was washing my hands, and, and it's a dark bathroom. It's, like, very dark with red lighting, and you can barely even see in the mirror, and I'm looking in the mirror, and through the distance, a geisha showed up and then disappeared, and that's what their mirrors do. Their mirrors have geishas in them? Pull up Katsuya geisha mirror. No. Katsuya mirror. Whoa. Oh, that! No, that bitch showed up, no, and, 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 no. I, and I was in the dark. <laughs> no, see if there's a video. No. See if there's a video. What the fuck are you, do you mean? Oh, Katsuya mirror, bathroom mirror, maybe. That's nuts, dude. That's like haunted Snow White type shit. I know. I know. No warning. No, no. How'd you bang Go on mushrooms? Again. And it comes up slowly. Go back again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dude. That's her. Yeah, click on that first. That's what it looked like. No, I hate well, and that. And I was in there alone. Dude, I fucking hate that. And that shit popped up and scared me. Of Look course that, that, that scared you. One. Yeah. Who wouldn't that be one. horrified? That's what it looked like that when is, I was looking in the mirror. That is horrible. That's like, as that's happening, I'm like, am I losing my mind? Me too. And I was like confused because I'm like, I'm at a sushi restaurant. <laughs> like this is I'm not at Universal in the bathroom I'm not at a fun Disneyland yeah dude it's fucking crazy dude who decided that that was the move absolutely a nuts move to make they're like okay we have a meeting we have to talk about the geisha in the bathroom listen the sashimi's doing well but something's <laughs> off in the restroom the vibe could be more hate to say it japanese we yeah. want an authentic experience hate to say it we need a little white in the mirror <laughs> we're right on hollywood boulevard okay we need a scare we need a scare we need to remind them that we are hollywood we are hollywood <laughs> we're dramatics we're sushi we're fish we're geishas <laughs> we're katsuya 
done <laughs> immediately everyone's crying in the they're meeting. like how they're much like, is it they're like it doesn't matter it, it's an investment <laughs> forty two thousand dollars per sink put them in put them in put them in the geisha needs to come slowly so it looks like the person is mentally unwell <laughs> yeah we want them absolutely nauseous when they we get back to their seats we want them thinking that they might be schizophrenic we want them worried, not not to enjoy their meal. So they go, you know what? I didn't even get a chance to think about the food. I was too worried about my new schizophrenia diagnosis in the bathroom that maybe we need to go again. I'll have some sake. I'll have some sake. That's where I tried uni. Oh. The, oh, is right. The color of it alone. You the don't, taste. You guys don't like it? You guys don't like sea urchin? I won't even try it. You've never the, tried it? The color and the texture alone, I could gag... I'll tell you, you know, usually I'm one where like everyone has to try everything. I say you skip that one. I say you skip that one. It is. Can we see someone crack Uni. open a sea urchin? Oh, on oh, video. Gross, gross. Have you ever seen someone eat one fresh? Fresh uni. When I tried it, I said it tastes like I had rabies. Yeah. Like, I do. What do you mean? It, it tastes, tastes like you. Have it tastes rabies. like you shouldn't be eating it, and also it looks like you shouldn't be eating it. Like I look You're at right. this I'm, and I I'm go. Sorry. I wonder if I've actually had it or not. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a strong. No, it's such a strong. Oh my god! Look at that! It's still alive. The little things are moving, and then they take yeah, the, the spoon. They're straight. like taking it the the urchin's brains out. Yeah, and you have to wear gloves if you have to protect yourself that much before you eat something. I think you shouldn't. And it's just the texture and the color. The blood for me. in it. I will say Korean uni. Uh huh. It's very expensive, but I've had that, and it was a totally different experience. Oh, really? Yeah. So I feel like it's good. I I had it at a really nice restaurant. I still hated it, and I, I it was like such a nice place. It was Philip's place. Yeah. Scratch. Yeah. Sushi scratch. Scratch sushi. Yeah. Scratch, scratch. sushi. And um and it was like the best sushi ever. And then when the uni came out, I like looked at the fancy restaurant, and I looked around, and I go. What if I don't like it? <laughs> I didn't know what to do <laughs> in a nice restaurant. They're like, you don't have to eat everything. I was like, okay. And yeah, I did not it, like it. It's such a novel concept that you don't have to eat anything at a nice restaurant when yeah. you're there and you're like, I want to have the full experience. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what? If, are you going to be mad if I don't like it? They're like, no. They're like, yeah, okay. we beat you. Yeah, please have whatever you want. But yeah, it is stinky, dude. It's a stinky, stinky, stinky thing. Did you ever? Did your parents force food on you? Yeah, I wasn't allowed to leave the table when I was a kid until my food was gone. There were a couple nights where I woke up in the morning at the table and had to go get ready for school. No. Yeah. I remember one time. They they left you at the table overnight. Dog. I remember one time I didn't want to finish my food and my mom left me at the table overnight and I fell asleep. And I woke up to the hardest slap on my thigh. Bam! And I went. <gasps> and she went, now eat your food and go to school and made me eat it cold. No. Yeah. What was it? Do you remember? I think at that point she had switched it to like cereal a few hours before. It was like she took the dinner away and then gave me cereal and I still was sleeping at the table. No. She yeah, made I'm, you sleep at the table? Yeah, sounds like a medical condition to me, mother. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, but then I did eat the food and go to school <laughs> immediately. That's crazy. Yeah, I had to eat everything on my plate too and I would spit it in napkins. No. Yeah. I would go even to white... if you weren't hungry. Yeah, and I had to eat everything on my plate, and if I didn't like it or if I was full, I would get napkins, and I would just pretend I was wiping my face, and I would spit it in the napkin. No. And I would go to the trash can, and I'd put it underneath. Did she ever find it? A couple times. I don't think she would have liked that. I don't no. think Mary would have liked no, that No, Mary all. didn't like it at all when I spit in the paper towel. <laughs> we had this really weird rule at my house, too, that we weren't allowed to talk at the dinner table. What do you mean? You guys would live like, it's just like the clanking of forks. Yeah. It's like, why? I don't know. My stepdad was like, <laughs> I think really fed up with my mom and working all day to provide for two kids that weren't even his. And yeah. my mom was like probably very annoying and crazy. And so we would come home grumpy from work every day and he'd be like, I need silence when I eat dinner. So you guys are just. Dude. And I would invite my friend no. Rachel over and this was like when we were like nine and she thought it was the funniest thing that we couldn't make noise at dinner. <laughs> and it would make dinner so hard because we would be like choking, trying not to laugh or make noise. Because would he get pissed? If he yeah, and you know me, I'm a clown, so I'd be like, so 
hello. And I need my, <laughs> you know, and, and he'd be like, Kim, enough. Yeah, I, yeah, I try to lighten the mood every once in a while. Sue me. Did you just put a peanut in your mouth? Yeah. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> the way that you, I thought maybe it was going to be like a piece of gum or like, I don't know what I thought it was going to be. It wasn't that though. I've been sucking on salty nuts. What? Mm -hmm. Clip it. What a thing to say. <laughs> Mm. I've been I originally on bought these for crows. I can't because I have these oh, crows. From pigeons to crows. Okay, I've, yeah, I've had a thing for birds lately. Um, because I have these crows by my apartment, and I was gonna start training them to steal money from people. <laughs> what gave you that idea? That you can train them to steal money from people. <laughs> How'd you figure that out? I saw a video of someone training them to steal money from people, and then bring them back to you. Yeah. And you can train them with, you just give them these and you show them what a dollar is or what quarters are. Yeah. And you go, go find those in people's pockets. I'll give you more of these. And they go, ah! And they go do it. Dude, my boyfriend. No, I, <laughs> Kim. My boyfriend's such a hater. You're not training the other day, crows to steal the for other, you. The other day, I went out to my balcony, to my patio. Yeah. I brought the peanuts and I said, I'm going to go get some crows out here. <laughs> I bet you did bring the peanuts. I go, I'm going to go get some crows out here. My boyfriend's like, you're not going to get any, there's no crows. We're out there standing and there's no crows. <laughs> I put the peanut in the air and I go, ah, ah. No. He's like, dude, stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, stop. And he's looking around and, and there's like people, but they live in LA, so they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They're just walking. He's like, stop, there's people out. I'm like, they don't care, dude. Like, they're going to get molested by a homeless here. person walking down the street. Yeah. Um, they don't care that I'm calling in my pal balcony. So I go, ka, ka, nothing, nothing. He goes, this is not working and you look dumb. Guess what happened 10 seconds later? A bird shows up. Over the horizon, dude. Just like seven crows come over and land in the tree next to me. No. And did you give them a peanut? I left it out for them. <sighs> I decided I don't have enough time to train them now <gasps> since I'm leaving, but. Oh, you're like. <laughs> but but you I have might, the if, ability. If there's, yeah, I have the ability. I could definitely train a crow. <laughs> I believe you could train a, tr a crow. I could train a crow to steal money from And not me. just because you're my best friend, because I've seen you with different types of dogs. I could train a dog really well. Really well, but. A crow? I'll have that bitch working. Dude, are you praying for crows in Austin? Every night I pray for crow. You're going <laughs> to work with crows to get money from mm -hmm. people. Yeah. That's nuts. Crows do that. I know. And they also seek revenge. Mm -hmm. And they also will leave you presents. Mm -hmm. I love them. I'm into birds right now. Real into birds. You are? Yeah. Well, when did this start? Crows. Cool. I can't wait. What for are you your, into? Uh, not birds. I think if you like cut a crow's tongue or something like that, you could like teach it to talk or something like that, right? Yeah, you got to cut the thing underneath. What? It? You're going to cut the crow can of you, a tongue so you can, can you talk pull up to talking you? crow? What do you mean? It's tongue tied? Mm hmm. Look at this little guy. It looks like he's in a little wife beater. Oh, that he does. He's a very small human. Hello. His Hello. name's. I'm uh, a little obsessed with him. That's me. Oh, His yeah. little shirt. Years old, which is very old for an African pied crow. They usually live to be about 20 minutes. This is insane. He knows it and he comes running. He is very intelligent. I actually trained him in object recognition. We have Tuck's tire, and every single time we ask Tuck to go and touch his tire, he will walk over to it and just tap on it. Oh, and then you were like, go, 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 go grab the money. Go grab the money. <laughs> you see pockets? I was going to show him what it looks like when dollars are sticking out of pockets. And wallets are sticking mm -hmm. out of pot. He comes back with a full. I wallet. want him to go take coins from buskers, just a, a few dollars. <laughs> coins from buskers. Is nuts. <laughs> Dude, training crows to be your accomplice in petty crimes. If I could get thirty dollars a day, that's rent off crow. Thirty dollars a day. That's rent off crow. Rent off crow. That's rent off crow. Kim becomes a pimp for all the birds. You could probably get more if you start training flocks. multiple crows. Buskers is smart. Now I have. A, 
I mean, imagine the but, government coming after me because I have too many crows stealing in the city. <laughs> they just a- follow the crows to my house. I'm just covered in old bloody dollar That's bills. That's so scary. You going the full crow, crow lady? Crow lady. Dude, what if I train them to all land on me, hold me, and fly me around? That's not going to happen. Yeah, I go. I love you I go, so much. I go, bring but- me to the pod. <laughs> She's they start lifting me. Crow. <laughs> <laughs> I arrive by crow, dude. And I'm like this, like literally my arms like this. They, Over sunset. They <laughs> <laughs> They bring you on to stage. They bring me on to stage. They drop me and go <laughs> and they wait by the door and I go, I'll be done in 45. Are you ever covered in bird shit? In no, this? they're trained. <laughs> you think I don't train potty they don't potty train themselves? The crow woman is not covered in crow shit. Oh, no, of course not. The crow woman would never be covered in crow shit. That, that's a stretch. I want to stretch. <laughs> She's flying with the crows. They're bringing her onto stage. Sue me for She's one. gliding over Sunset Boulevard, but she is never shot on All one. All right, dude. Sue me for wanting to fly by crow. I can see you really overworking these birds. Like, I'm making the crows take me to Puerto Rico, so... I so, got, I'm blocking out for the podcast. <laughs> I'll be in Puerto Rico with my flock. I mean, like, me, that's the vibe. Me and the flock are hitting Rico. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll have to get Not the, the pod birds flying soon. me over open ocean. Why are you so of, jealous Why of you so training? Jealous? Of you training a flock? <laughs> Why are you so jealous of my birds, dude? Because you don't have I'm your own. Freaked out. Who's carrying you? God. Ugh. I become really religious no. during this podcast. God. This is actually an opportunity for me to talk God. to you about our Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> the Come Prince on. of Peace. Come on, pick an animal to travel on. It can't fly. I already took a bird. Butterfly. Pretty. A bunch of butterflies? Yeah. It seems a little abusive to the butterflies. It does. Oh, but it not does. the crows. No. The crows, the crows, the crows seem like they can hold their own. <laughs> A butterfly, it seems like a little abusive to well, make. Well, you asked me to pick a winged dude, animal. Okay, Sarah, even imagine, back. even imagine. Why can't I have my thing? <laughs> no, imagine. I want them working for me. <laughs> I dare you do, you sick bitch. <laughs> Ima- Let's go, ladies. Imagine even 10,000 of them fluttering as hard as they can. Sarah, what it's are you me. I'm fat. You're, you're making Sarah <laughs> sound so heavy. Well, I'm Am just fat? saying. They're are def- you saying I'm fat? They're definitely no, weaker <laughs> than a thousand birds. <laughs> it just you seems, asked me to it pick seems a mean to pick animal. an insect. It's not even an animal. It's it an insect. You a- picked a bug. And you're like, why aren't they old? I'm skinny. It's a butterfly. <laughs> Have some respect. Have I some respect. You. you took crow. Respect the butterfly, Sarah. What do you want me to do? A toucan? You want me to ride by toucan? No, I said nothing that can fly. <laughs> yes, you did. No, you I said s- a winged thing. I said nothing with wings. No, because no, she picked something with wings. So oh, I can't. Like how can I fly if I travel. don't Travel. You can travel Just... other ways. There's cars, trains, planes, automobiles. What do you want to ride on? A cape. Wow. She's thinking outside the box. A cape? Yeah. Like a cape, like a Superman cape? Yes. You ride on it like a carpet? Like you make... I can do all kinds of things. I can wear it as a cape or it's ride a, it as a carpet. You have to pick an animal. What do you mean? You keep shifting <laughs> the game, dude. There's never you been sh- a shift. Yes. I said, pick an animal. I already picked one that can fly. What can you travel on? You're like, God in a cape. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a normal answer. <laughs> the back of a panther. Hot. That's what I want to see Shank on with a sugar-free Red Bull on the back of a panther pulling up to the pod. A black panther? Yeah. Dude, I drop in by crow. You come in by panther. Or a Siberian <sighs> tiger. Siberian tiger. I, like, I, I kind of like, like the blue. black on black look. Oh, okay. Of us pulling in black on black. Unless you're pulling in on like a cheetah leopard. Ooh, a cheetah leopard with like a chain. A cheetah leopard with some type of chain. Are you go- pulling up slow or are you pulling up speed running? Oh, I'm pulling up fast. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to get on stage and, and talk slow. I see you pulling up a little regal. Regal. You can see the the, the, the panthers uh, or the Am leopards. I, do I have a you can saddle? see its back bones, its collar bones. S- <laughs> While it walks. You know, real Is sexy. Is it a hungry? Is it a hungry cheetah? Slightly, but it don't eat you. Okay. It's hungry for fucking money. 
I like how all the animals just want money. And I, <laughs> it's not my, like we're putting that on. My pets are hustlers. Have you ever I'm seen? My pets are hustlers. If animals were fat. Have you ever seen that video? No. Um, if African animals were fat. You might like this. You might like this. Okay. Oh, I already can tell you that I like this. I saw f what? Oh, this is sick. Flamingos. You could leave the sound on, it hits. This is amazing. It's so cute. Aren't they so much cuter fat? Yeah. I would be so much less scared of alligators if they were so fat they couldn't even swim well. Yeah, this hits. Let's fast forward to some of the other. Oh, that's it? I think there's some other ones here. Whoa, the cheetah, <laughs> the antelope. <laughs> now that cheetah, would you come in on? No. Rolling with it? <laughs> up to stage. Somersaulting on to yeah. stage with an obese Anyways, cheetah. Anyways, I just like this image. Yeah, that was fun. How could you not like that image? Yeah. You'd have to be brain dead to not like that image. What's your too. algorithm? Lots of frogs. Frogs? frogs. I don't Let know Let me why. look through mine right now. I'll tell you what mine is, too. But uh, I do get lots of, like, cartoon frogs. I don't oh, you know what? I do. I see you. I see you share them. There, it'll be like two frogs. Oh, I get somewhere. those, and it's like this is us on the river, and it's like two toads fishing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get those. Um, okay, so right now I have some eggs. I get a lot of diet stuff. A lot of diet stuff. A okay. lot of like um, carnivore diet stuff because I'm always trying to cut carbs. So I get a lot of that. Okay. I get tattoos. Oh yeah. Do you want to get another one? Um, I was thinking about it, but I'm not sure. I get a lot of Haley and Justin Bieber, and I get these weird body modifications. Ew, what is that? This girl cut out the backs of her ears so there oh, it's a hole right through it. I'm glad that's not my shit, dude. I have I have um girls that are like, This is this photo was taken on the same day and it's their stomach hanging out at two different oh, angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of Life's that. not real. And then I have Okay, ew. Yeah. I have a cake right now that says no one's mad at you and it's very aesthetically cute. Okay, that makes sense. Look at this girl's tongue. Ew. It's two tongues. Ugh. Who would do that? What if you had to get one body mod, what would you do? You have to. It's there's a new law in America. One body part one body must be mod. extremely modificated. Extremely modified. You have modified. three choices. You get your titty right on your forehead, a third titty on your forehead can never be covered. It's just nipple out. Sometimes it leaks milk. Like a unicorn horn. Sometimes it leaks milk right onto the tips of your nose, which drips right onto the tips of your lips. Yeah. I you like have to it. do that. Yeah. You have to do that constantly. Pump. You have to catch your own. Yeah. You have to pump and catch your own milk. I don't That's like one. that at all. The second I do not one, like the third head nipple. The second one okay. is every time you get the hiccups. Just like you naturally do every yeah. once in a while, every few months, every hiccup, a giant dick comes out and goes back in for a quick. Yeah. From where? From no, only God no knows. knows. We're bringing there. religion back into it. <laughs> only God knows the answer to so, that. Uh, dick. Dick. So uh, that that. Dick. Or well, I'm so far thinking that. Or the, the, your the or nipple your every vagina, day. your vagina. Yeah. It has three parts. What right? the fuck does that mean? But you have Your three vagina vaginas. Has... You have like three. There's three triple, holes. Three holes. Three but, clits. Do but I get three clits too? You get three clits, but two Hell out of yeah, two dude. out of three are stinky, and you never know which ones. <laughs> I do not want that. <laughs> you know, it's what changes. I don't know. It always I changes. I don't want the rotating smelly <laughs> pussy. I'm going hiccup dick. <laughs> I can't be having nipple on my head every single day. I don't hiccup very often. Yeah, you can. And I could just yourself. go. <gasps> the dick comes. But what out. if someone's like, "Was that a dick that just came out of your mouth?" I go, what? No. Why would a dick be coming out of my <laughs> mouth? <laughs> you could fuck a girl with a hiccup, and then be done. You can. I, it, it only lasts as long as hiccup lasts. Yeah. So I was like, <gasps> and then you're just <gasps> down there. You're like, well, I'm done hiccuping. Yeah. She's all pissed. I don't want to be having a nipple on my head. Okay, so you're not doing not the rotating really, stinky pussy. The stinky, I mean, the only answer is the dick hiccup. Ask yourself the this, same question. This, no, you got to give me new ones. Ugh. 
I can't believe the three pussies and one, two of them are, are so infected. constantly stinky. But you never know which one. It's I don't good. like that at all. It's okay. good. Okay. But if you pick the right one, you can't tell the other two smell. Okay. Ready for yours? Wink. I wink at the camera. <laughs> you have a dick tail. Okay. Does it get hard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it gets hard. So I have to fuck with my dick tail? Do I bang chicks with my dick tail? I don't know. It's your dick tail. Now I'm going butt to puss. It's your dick tail. Okay. You, I mean, it's there all the time. It's there I gotta all- go jerk off my tail. Oh, yeah, you gotta have it in a bathing suit. Okay. 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 You have to figure it out. I don't know. It's your dick. Okay. It's your tail. I have to learn how to tuck it in my own crack. Yeah, yeah it's your dick tail. Okay. You figure it out. <laughs> it's your dick tail. You figure it out. Okay. Your tongue is um, a vagina. Oh, hell. Oh, it's going to get so infected with all the sweets I eat. <laughs> I eat too much sweets for that. The vagina tongue, the dick tail. The the yeast imbalance of my tongue <laughs> being a pussy. Or, okay, last but not least, certainly not least, um, you have a clit on your ear. Oh, I'm going clittier all day. And you're going clittier? Catch me every day. A flick in your ear? A flick in the old <laughs> ear. <laughs> no. Give my ear the old flicky flick. Oh, but, yeah. But like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I have a question. No, I'm busy right now. <gasps> but people will be like, hey, is that a clit on your yes. ear? Yes. Want to flick it? <laughs> no. Please flick my ear. You're, you're giving out free flicks if it's in the Dude, ear. Dude, if it's in my ear, I'm flicking it. I'm letting you flick it on the She's pod. coming nonstop. <laughs> I'm letting anybody flick. It's non-sexual at that point. It's just a part of me. Flick my ear, make me come. No. <laughs> flick my ear, make me come. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? What do you want me to I say? I wanted you to pick the dick tail. No, I don't want the dick tail. I want the clit ear. ear or oh, the vagina tongue. No, I definitely don't want pussy on my tongue 24-7. Just in a wet mouth, a hot, wet mouth. That you have food. two pussies. Imagine. Your mouth the, pussy? Dude, <laughs> imagine, ha- pussy. imagine having a pussy on your tongue. Imagine the morning breath. Oh. <laughs> I like how we just both go, oh. I'm not having pussy morning breath. Pussy tongue. No. It's like having two holes in your face. Oh, but then you would give a hell of a blowjob. Are you getting pregnant off the pussy tongue? Oh, oh. now you're carrying a baby in your mouth. It's like a bullfrog. You look like a bullfrog. Yeah. Because it's just like. It's kicking. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think I'm picking that one or the dick. I'm doing the clit ear. Give me, flick my ear. Get me off. Do, are you piercing the clit ear? No, it might lose sensitivity. Or it might get heightened. <laughs> Not the wink. <laughs> Are you rubbing your ear while you're having sex? Yeah. Rub my ear. Bite my ear, babe. Bite my ear. Uh, can you lick my ear? Can you lick my ear? <gasps> you know the spot. Yeah. Can you can let's... you touch my E spot? My what? Spot? My E spot. My E spot? Mm-hmm. That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? I choose Which that one. Which one did I pick? You picked a, uh, a giant I, dick coming out of your mouth with every oh, hiccup. hiccup. What about when you hiccup, you come over and stand by my ear? Stop getting my hiccups to fuck your ear. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> quick, I have a quick case of the hiccups. You want me to come over? Is your ear out? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my ear out, sister. Make my I'll ear right jiggly. <gasps> no, I missed one. <gasps> there is, have I ever told you what happens to me when I get the hiccups? No. Okay, this is really weird. I've tried to look it up. Ever ever since I was little. Okay. Every time I get the hiccups, yeah. when I get my last hiccup, yeah. and there's not another one after it, I get an overwhelming feeling of sadness that lasts about <laughs> one to two minutes. Wait, I'm sorry to laugh. I just didn't think that... <laughs> You've you've noticed this several times that after you have a bout of hiccups, yeah, you have a overwhelming, overwhelming sense of sadness. Yeah. No, you haven't told me that. Yeah, I do have that. Um, and how long does the overwhelming sense of sadness last? One to last? two minutes. Usually Paul? just about a, usually just about one minute. What do you feel like? 
sad. Like, but why? Abandoned. Well, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> And that's our episode. I mean, she's she you can't leave on that. Are you <laughs> sick? Abandoned? <laughs> Kim, that's sad. Yeah, after my last hiccup, I'll get sad for one minute. Does anyone get sad after hiccups? Can we look it I, up? I, I, I just, I, I only, I'm gonna say, I remember googling this with you, and we Nothing. couldn't find anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, a dick pops out of my mouth see every my... time I, I have one. <laughs> Want to so. see my impression of me after hiccups? Yeah. <laughs> that's it and that's our pod and that's our pod bye <laughs> see you guys next week where see we, you next week where can we find you at princess shank on instagram and twitter you can find me here every monday on this bitch every wednesday on shank patreon.com slash sarah weinching for bonus content and all my show dates at princess shank hell yeah what about you KimCongden.com, Patreon.com slash Kim Congdon, Magic Prank Show on Netflix, Childless Milf on YouTube. Keep a lookout for show dates. Support, send to a friend, do what you gotta do. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.